This is the Big O Show. This is the Big O Show. Run and make it born on the previous. You sound like the same message that uh, UD and Bam were echoing in every single timeout uh, last uh, seven minutes of the game. Uh, you know, I thought this was a, a really good game on on. For, for us, for a lot of different reasons. So uh, we were able to get uh, another quarter, you know, with our rotation. Um, able to work through some things, you know, when shots aren't falling. Um, I think, you know, learning how to impact the game and, and find different ways uh, to put yourself in a position to win. Even in the preseason, I think those are important things for any any club. And then, you know, the, the young guys came in and they just – uh, they were really inspiring with their, their play, their energy, their passion. Um, and that was a lot of fun for everybody in the locker room and the fans. I couldn't tell if this was your emotional side or just your pure basketball side. Starting Caleb Martin against twin brother Cody Martin, wh which was that? Was it just to see him in there or is it because of the moment? A little bit of everything. Um, yeah, he's had a very good training camp, um, you know, with Jimmy out. Uh, I th thought that, uh, you know, uh, Caleb could give us the, the closest facsimile to how we would play with that unit. Um, and, you know, yeah, that did also factor into it. You know, I knew that that would be an important game, you know, for, for him. And uh, it's a pretty cool storyline. As soon as we did the walkthrough this morning, everybody was saying, uh, before I even got to the matchups, they were already telling them, all right, you got, you got your brother. Um, that's it. That's, those are cool moments. Some of the preseason, the pile with second charge of the preseason, you get the technical argument with the refs. Hey, I mean, these guys are really competitive. You should see what the practices are like. If we put a score up there, um, everybody's fighting, grappling, hitting, complaining. <laughs> the officials, you know, Coach O and AC were officials for a few days. They were just getting worn out. Uh, the physicality in, in our practices, uh, all of that, you know, you, you've seen that on display. PJ, I think he's hit five or six corner threes already this first season. And he's been one of the better three point shooters in the league in the last few years. What, what kind of spacing does that provide when you get a guy like that? It's great. I mean, he's one of the best corner three point shooters in this league. He's, we want him to let, let it fly. You know, we want him to have double digit games with double digit three point attempts, you know, this season. You know, the, the more reps he, he can get for us, that means uh, good things for our spacing and, and a lot of different things. But it, it's not like we're reinventing him. He's, he's a great shooter, particularly from those corners. Eric, you ran out uh, the five-man bench core a couple of times tonight, first half and second half. That's, that's not typically yeah. what you've done here over the year. Right. Just looking at it right now, is this, is um, it fits? Yeah, I mean, I'm looking at it, but... Uh, you know, also, I, I wanted to play our, our starters like a, a pretty good stint, you know, for rhythm and conditioning. Um, so a couple factors, and I, I'm not ready to make that kind of decision yet. Eric, the diversity of BAM scoring, a couple of sh short jumpers to start, follow-up layup and put back, and then he seems to go into the post in the second quarter. Are you liking what you're seeing about the variety he's had, and do you see the growth from maybe what you've seen before? Without a doubt. Well, we, everybody sees it. Um, you know, it, it's um, the assertiveness uh, on the catch and different areas on the floor. Um, but he's been very intentional and diligent this summer, you know, working around uh, the USA uh, um, commitment, um, working with Malik and Quran, um, you know, every day just working on his skill set. And his, his skills, uh, you know, have, have grown immensely. Um, and still, you know, using him as a playmaker at the high post and the, um, in the low post as uh, one of our better passers. We're looking at Marquis, we've kind of seen inside the arc, he seems a little bit more effective. What have you liked about Scrooge? Just his rolling, putting his back to the basket, mid range jumper, kind of facilitating from the middle. Just, do you think that's a role where he'll see a little more of that than the outside spot outside role? There's a lot of upside with Marquis. Um, and this is just scratching the surface. Uh, you know, he's getting his legs. He's getting in, uh, you know, Miami Heat condition. You know, he's in. He came into camp uh, fit, and in good condition. Um, and then there's our level. Uh, and 
you know, he has a lot of uh, different things uh, that he can do. You know, you can play him at the elbow. You can play him. You actually, you can play him in a lot of the similar areas of how you play Bam. Um, you know, obviously that that really helps your your versatility uh, offensively.